Hi everyone, let me start by saying sorry to those who aren't really enjoying the videos about reflectors and antennas and everything like that. Um, I am going to try and mix it up with different videos, but for those that do enjoy the topic, hopefully you'll like this video. I'm going to show you what I've been working on in the last few days. Now this is a pocket Wi-Fi or a MiFi or a mobile hotspot. It goes by many names, but basically it connects to the mobile network, whether it's 3G or LTE, and lets you connect to this via Wi-Fi. Now I have opened this up purely because I've been testing different antenna designs, them on here um, but there was a few limits to this firstly it was locked to one network so the first thing I did was unlock it actually my intention was never to unlock it for different networks but that was just a byproduct because what I really wanted to do was flash custom firmware on here um, and add my own code and that's what I've actually been doing but what I'm also thinking is some of this stuff I might be able to reproduce as a Chrome plugin so if you're interested in what you see today just let me know and I'll think about whether I can make an extension that does similar so what is it that I've actually done or the main thing that I'm interested in. So if I show you here on the iPad, you'll probably look at this control panel and say, yeah, that looks somewhat familiar. But if I scroll down, this is when you'll see the new stuff. Look over here, this is signal information. Let me zoom in. So this is one of my additions. We can now see which tower we're connected to, and we can also see the signal strength. Now, the reason why that matters is that before when we're testing, we're doing speed tests, we're doing pings, but that doesn't take into account like problems with the tower, for instance, congestion. So by having these extra figures, for instance, I can see the raw strength, I can see the strength of the actual LTE signal once it's been filtered, we can see the quality. Um, this really helps us pinpoint the actual tower and the best location or the best way to actually point this. So let me show you an example. Right now you can see I'm connected to the smart network but I've got no bars of signal. So what I'm going to do is move this around until I get at least one or two bars. Basically I'm going to move it to the best location that I can get based on the signal figures at the bottom here. Okay so this is roughly the best location and I'm going to begin the speed test and let's see what we get just without any antenna or any reflector. So the test is completed and we got 7.13 meg down and 1.15 up. Sorry about the reflection from the light, but I think you can see that. Now I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to use my reflector. Now we already know the reflector works. This isn't to try and prove that a reflector works. What this is to do is to show you that using my new signal information, I can actually pinpoint the tower so much more accurately that I can actually show even more impressive results. So something like this position here is giving me roughly the best figures. You can see that they're going from yellow to green. Um, obviously green is better, yellow isn't as good. Um, let's try and do a speed test. Now what you'd probably want to do is actually put this on a tripod so that you can get it like pinpoint accurate because that's the whole idea of having these advanced stats is that we can see like every decibel that matters. Anyway, let's uh, do another speed test and see what we get this time. Look at that. We're hitting around 16 meg down, but let's see what it actually stabilizes or ends at, because it is dropping a bit. That's probably because I'm wobbling around with the antenna, to be honest. Okay, so it ended at 13 meg down. We're getting quite a strong upload, but I won't say what it is until it finishes. Okay, there we go, 6.85 meg down. So just by putting it in this reflector, it made a huge difference. Now, the video isn't about the reflector. If you're interested in the reflector, I'll put a link down below to more information on that, how you can make it, etc. What today's video is really about is getting advanced access to this through a shell or through Telnet so that we can do firmware modifications and things like that and make changes like this to put the signal quality data on the control panel itself because it really just makes it so much easier. And it also means that when I test antennas like this, which I haven't made a video about yet, but I do plan to, or antennas like this, which is my DIY one, it means we have a way of easily knowing the exact signal strength improvements that we get from these antennas, or if they don't help at all. And it makes it so much easier aiming them, especially this one, which is highly directional. You have to point it towards a cell tower. And another thing I've done is I've added sound alerts. So when it changes cell tower, it will make a noise. So I quickly know. What I also want to do is have it beep based on the quality so that when I'm scanning this around, it'd be like beep, 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 beep. So when I'm pointing it in the right direction, I have like a audio confirming like a faster beep. So that's another modification I want to make to this just so that we can really like get pinpoint accurate because that's how you get the top speeds. So yeah, like I said, if you are interested and you might want to use this feature yourself, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, if I do make a Chrome extension, it will only be for this brand, the, um, I always say this wrong, the Huawei, Huawei, Hawaii, 
Huawei, whatever, this brand. So yeah, if I do make an extension, it will only be for that brand. Um, it'll probably work on most of their LTE modems, but not on all of them. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.